both parties to form their own because they feel both parties are corrupted beyond hope, that they're too much under the thumb of big business. They buy senators, they buy congressmen, their lobbyists infest the Capitol. The People's Party put up a full slate of candidates for the election that year and announced its intent to wrest state government from the grasp of big business. Mary Lease says this kind of system is fatal and destroying the lives of millions of people and that if we don't do something drastic about this, we not only will lose our way of life, but American democracy will go down, the, uh, down with that way of life. She said when someone has five homes and someone else is starving, then the first man has something that belongs to the second man. People shouldn't be starving while other people have so much more than they can possibly ever use or spend. Lise had scoundrels to blame, and she called them out. She was particularly focused on bankers in New York, like the one at 23 Wall Street who seemed to have his fingers in everything. J.P. Morgan. It is no longer a government of the people, by the people, and for the people, Lise told her crowds but a government of Wall Street, by Wall Street, and for Wall Street. Wall Street is the arch villain. It doesn't produce anything. It just trades in paper, controls everybody else's life without offering anything tangible to the national welfare. That's how they see it. Republican officials, whose party had dominated state politics for nearly 30 years, weren't much concerned with Lise and her followers in the early weeks of the campaign. But they were startled by the procession of a thousand horse-drawn carriages bound for one of the People's Party events, by the crowds of 10,000 at a rally in Lawrence, and 20,000 in Emporia, and by reports that the upstart party had enrolled 130,000 members in the state. Election Day news out of Kansas shocked the country. The Democrats won only eight seats in the state legislature. The Republicans, long in the majority, won 26. The People's Party won 91 seats and control of the Kansas state legislature. This triumph, declared one populist newspaper, is but the beginning. 